What's going on, everybody, and welcome in to the Week 7 DFS Studs edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up. I'm Ryan Williams. You can find me on Twitter at RyanAlexander underscore W, and I'm here to talk about the three studs that you should be building your Sunday main slate teams on FanDuel this weekend. Let's get into the plays. Got to start it off as we always do, and that's going to be at the quarterback position. We're going to talk about Patrick Mahomes, Patty Mahomes, Pat Mahomes boy. 8,800 on the on the FanDuel slate. He is the highest priced quarterback this week, and he is for good reason. They're going against the Tennessee Titans. This game should be absolutely explosive. It's probably going to be one of the favorites, if not the favorites, DFS game on the entire slate. When you look at the spread here, um, being very close, and we got a lot of other teams. You got Matthew Stafford, uh, Tom Brady, these guys playing in Kyler Murray, playing in games that are expected to be blowouts. And so we need to look for those games that are going to be close spreads. And you got the Kansas City Chiefs here, who are still favorite, but only by, I believe, four and a half points against the Tennessee Titans. And we just saw an explosive game with the Titans um, and the Buffalo Bills winning that game late. And uh, But they still have been allowing a ton of points to the quarterback position you absolutely love that and in two matchups already against Tennessee and his in his career Patrick Mahomes has had success against them he had 446 yards with three touchdowns in the 2019 regular season matchup and then in that same year in the playoffs AFC championship he threw for 294 and three touchdowns while also having 53 yards and a touchdown I always love to look at the previous matchups when you talk about this team and this Tennessee defense just hasn't been able to stop any Anybody. You look at the stud quarterbacks that they face. Josh Allen, he had 353 yards and three touchdowns. Russell Wilson had over 340 yards to go with two touchdowns. And then Kyler Murray, all the way back in week one, had 289 yards and four touchdowns against this team. I mean, this is really why we're playing Patrick Mahomes this week, coming off of almost 400 yards passing against a Washington football team that is similarly uh, against quarterbacks. They are very favorable. Um, I think that it's an explosive game for Patrick Mahomes. You love the the Titans games five out of their six games have gone over 50 points total scoring so I think we're going to see points in bunches and that's why I love getting exposure to Patrick Mahomes this week let's move on to the wide receiver position and I actually got two wide receivers for you guys this week I know I usually talk about a running back but this is a week where I feel like paying for stud wide receivers over Derrick Henry, who people are going to jam into their lineups, especially if I'm talking about Patrick Mahomes and that game, uh, receivers are going to be a way that we can get an edge. And let's start with Devontae Adams, who's at the top of the pool, 9,000 for wide receivers on FanDuel. I think this guy, not only is he excellent leverage off of Derrick Henry, um, and building lineups this week is going to be tough with Derrick Henry's price tag at 11 k You're saving $2,000 in salary by playing a guy like Devontae Adams, who has an absolutely incredible floor. I mean, this guy, he only has two touchdowns, but he's still putting up, you know, over, over double-digit fantasy points pretty much in any game that he's in. Only had five targets last week, still going for 84 yards and still being able to put up a nice floor score for you there. But when you're looking at what Washington's allowed to the wide receiver position, that's why I absolutely love playing Devontae Adams this week. They've allowed the second most fan duel points to the position. Nine total touchdowns they've allowed to wide receivers, which is tied for third most in the league. Emmanuel Sanders and, and Marquez Callaway, these guys had two touchdown scores uh, against this defense. They've just been allowing points in bunches, and we love that all of the points, really, when you're talking about the Green Bay Packers and their implied team total, okay, if they're getting four touchdowns, we got to love Devontae Adams in that game script, who's absolutely just killing it um, when it comes to target share for this team. And uh, again, only five targets last week, but they only 21 total passes that he was able to, that wide receivers were able to catch. So you're still looking at a 20% target share there. Um, the other thing that's that's of note that I want to mention with Devontae Adams is Marquez Valdez-Scantling has not been activated off of the IR at this point. I don't think from listening to LaFleur talk about him, I don't think he will be activated. And if he's not activated, this is incredible boost to Devontae Adams, who over the past three weeks since uh, being placed on IR, MVS that is, he's seen 359 receiving yards over those three games. No other Green Bay Packer receiver has totaled 100 yards in that same span. So you got to love Devontae Adams this week, putting in the stud this week into my lineups. 
And then finally, we got to wrap it up with another wide receiver stud, and that's going to be Tyreek Hill. If I love Patrick Mahomes, I got to love bringing it back or stacking him up with one of his pass catchers, and that's going to be Tyreek Hill for me. He's been banged up. He had the knee injury last week, was kind of questionable all week, ends up playing in the game, has a great game, goes out and balls out against a, a Washington Oh, the Washington defense that's given up points in bunches. Now enter Tennessee. He's got a Q tag as well this week with a quad. He's probably not going to practice Thursday or Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, probably limited when it comes to Friday. And if that's the case, I'm going to jam this dude into lineups. Uh, Tennessee's allowing the most FanDuel points to wide receivers, the most touchdowns to opposing wide receivers. And he's had success against Tennessee in his career. He's had three touchdowns in two of those games that Patrick Mahomes has played in. Um, and this this defense hasn't proved that they can stop anybody. We saw Cole Beasley get loose on him uh, for the Buffalo game, Emmanuel Sanders, and Stefan Diggs as well, too. And you just love again a narrow distribution of targets right Tyree Kill is only competing with Travis Kelsey on this team for target shares I think it's going to be explosive there this this game is one that I definitely want to target and I talked about at nauseum a couple weeks ago about what Tyree Kill does on the road and this guy is absolutely explosive his numbers are great on the road he finds himself on the road again here I'm going to be playing him in lineups that's going to do it for the Week 7 DFS Studs edition of the FanDuel. Hurry up, guys, if you're watching this on YouTube. We'd love you to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're hitting that thumbs up button. We appreciate all the love that we're getting. Appreciate all of the interaction with the content that we're doing on the FanDuel channel uh, this year. Make sure to tune in next week for the Week 8 DFS Studs. But until then, make sure you get that money. And I'll see you guys on top of the leaderboards in Week 7. Peace. Bye.